Hi, today I will talk about a very simple technique in VCV Rack. It's all about how to give your envelopes more character. Now, what you see on the screen is a very simple patch, four voices, and there is LFO in each voice, a very boring LFO, as you can see those blue lines, ramps and triangle waves. However, what you actually hear are those envelopes in red. As you can see, they have that exponential curve. And the way I did it is extremely simple. I connected each of these LFOs to VCA input, but also to the CV input. In other words, you have to send the signal to both inputs and that's how you get those exponential curves. And if you want those envelopes to have even more pronounced um, curve, you switch from linear to exponential mode. So that's, a, that's it, that's the, the entire trick. Now I'm going to show you what will happen if I disconnect um, the CV input and go back to those blue boring envelopes. And later I will talk about why it works the way it works and um, common examples where you might use this technique. Now, in order to understand why it works the way it works, First thing you have to remember is that every VCA is a bit like a simple calculator. It gets two signals and it multiplies them by each other. So, for example, let's say we want to multiply 10 volt by 10 volt. And here's the result and you say, well, obviously you must be wrong because it should be 100. Now, the reason is internally in VCV rack, these numbers are actually represented by the ranges between minus one and one. So it's not between minus 10 and 10, it's between minus one and one. So the easiest way probably to visualize it is if you move this dot to the left, and then everything makes sense because one multiplied by one is one. Now, what if we want to multiply, let's say, 0 0.2, remember, this is not 2, this is 0 0.2, and let's multiply it by 0 0.5. And it makes sense, right? We get, we get 0 0.1 as a result. So, as you can see, it's a simple calculator. And things are getting useful when you think about the scenario where you multiply signal by itself. So for example, let's get rid of maybe this over here. And right now we are sending this 5. So remember it's 0 0.5 in reality. We're sending it to both inputs. And what we are doing is we are essentially raising this number to the power of 2. And that's where you get that exponential curve. Um, so as a result, it's 0 0.25. Now, to make it more visual for us, let's add another VCA over here. And I will connect, you know what, this, this one will go over here. So we'll see both signals at the same time. So the, this one, the left one, is the original. And this one is modified. So you can see they both meet at... 0 and 10 volt, right? So in, in reality, it's between 0 and 1. So they all meet, but in between that transform VCA gets that exponential curve. And moreover, if you switch th this mode here from linear to exponential, watch what will happen to this, this one. You see? Now it's even more pronounced. So let me give you a 
very simple example. Let's take a VCO and let's send it through. Where is our filter? Yeah, here. Let's send it through a filter. Saw wave going through a filter. Low pass. And let's animate this filter with an LFO. And let's get a scope so we can see what is happening. Now, all you need to do to make it more interesting is put that exponential transformer, that VCA, on the way. So, VCA. Still the same, but as soon as I connect this to CV, you see I get those really nice, those nice curves. And don't forget, there is this extra switch here that gives us this. It's very, very uh, useful on slower signals. It also works really well on ramps. So this is without. This is with. And, you know, since I'm talking about envelopes, let's actually get a real ADSR. So this, uh, in this example, I will clock it from this VC, sorry, from this LFL. And this is without anything. It's a classic envelope. But if I send it through VCA, see, it has that much sharper quality. And let me give you another example. Let's say we have a filter and we send a saw wave ramp to ping it to frequency and to resonance. So we are we're effectively pinging this filter and using self-oscillation. And you probably already know that what I'm going for is a proper kick, but obviously it's it's not very good. I mean, it's kind of very... It doesn't have character, right? It, it doesn't have that punch. And if we go instead through our little trick, Suddenly, I have control over that energy. So, I hope you found it useful, and apologies if it's too basic, but um, I think it's, I hope some of you at least will appreciate the fact that someone made a video about such a simple trick that we very often forget. I myself often forget that I have this simple VCA and, you know, there are some, some other, um, other modules, for example, this one. 
so you can you can do what we are doing here and you have control over that but even if you can compare it um, with the VCA with exponential this actually is much, much sharper uh, it's one HP and there are always VCAs in your patch so it's much easier to simply duplicate this and you know connect those two cables that's why I personally prefer that although this is also a really great module mm -hmm.